I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on coordinate systems. Let us now talk about translations. I'll actually give you all the concepts with help of two examples. Here is question number one. Determine coordinates of the image of triangle ABC after translation to minus three. Now we have a very special word for this particular thing which describes the translations and it is called translation vector. So the word here is translation vector. Now the translation vector within square brackets written as 2 minus 3 means what? It means that the whole block will be moved two units that is x units right right so it is two units right since it is positive right so first value gives you the x value second is the y value change in y value minus three means three units minus means down right so units down so that is the translation which we have to do for this particular question correct now let's get back to question one determine coordinates of the image of abc the triangle abc now another term which you see here is image so we are saying image of abc so what does that mean now what it really means is that first you write down the coordinates for points a b and c so let me just use the space and write a as let's read the coordinates of a so you move left minus 4 up 2 so we get minus 4 and 2 as far as b is concerned we have b is minus 3 and down minus 4 so it is minus 3 minus 4 and c is positive 2 and positive 1 so these are the coordinate points of triangle ABC, correct? On this, we have to perform the translation using the translation vector 2 minus 3. That is to say that we have to move each part 2 units to the right and 3 down. So for example, A will move to 1, 2 right and 3 down 1 2 3 so this will be the point a the image of a you get the idea and all the image points should be labeled with the same letter but with a dash on the top so that becomes the image right so now let me write down this image point as on this side okay so somewhere here uh, let me figure out we are bringing things down so let me write down here because everything will move down so we can write a dash that is the image right will be at minus 2 minus 1 you get the idea now if you have understood the concept you can pause the video answer the question that is to find all other image points that is to say find what is b dash and c dash correct after applying this translation two units right and three down correct so let's go to b now b two units right means one two and three down will bring it to minus seven so it's kind of going out of scale here for me right so so here we'll have b dash and the coordinates for b dash are going to be when i bring it two units right i have I will be at minus 1 and 3 units down will be 3 down from minus 4 so I'll get minus 7 you get it now let's look into C uh, let's change the color of the ink so if I move to right I go to these two places and 3 down 1 2 and 3 so we reach this place so that is C dash the coordinates for C dash will be 4 minus 2, correct? So we get 4 minus 2 as the image for C. Is that clear? So I kind of made a rough sketch, 
but it helps you to understand, get the overall picture. Do you see that? So if I join these points, so let me join them. So if I join, you should use ruler. And then this with A dash, we get C dash. And then with B dash, I get that triangle. Now this triangle, which is A dash, B dash, C dash, is the image with these coordinate points. Do you understand? So we actually translated the whole figure. And what did you notice here? You notice that the shape remains exactly same. So what we get here is exactly same shape. Perfect. Okay. And you could actually find the image points by doing a simple calculation that is to the x values we add 2 and to the y values you subtract 3 from the original points. So what you have here is set of original points. This is your original, right? To these points x values add 2, y values take away 3 and what you get here is the image point. So when I add 2 to minus 4, I get minus 2. When I take away 3 from 2, I get minus 1. So A dash will be minus 2 minus 1. Point B, minus 3 plus 2 will give me minus 1 and minus 4 minus 3 gives me minus 7. Similarly, for C, 2 plus 2 is 4, right? So we get 4 here and 1 minus 3 is minus 2, correct? So that is what you have. So that is how you could very easily get the image point even without doing practically on the graph paper. So I hope you got the concept. So what you have learned here is that whenever you translate, then the image is exactly congruent to the original shape. Shape does not get changed or deformed, only position changes. So exactly same shape, different position. Is that clear? Right? Same shape, different position. And to find the image points, we have to use the translation vector. Just add that translation vector to get the image points. Perfect. Now let's move on to question number two and understand few more concepts about translations. Question number two. A, B, C, D is a square with two vertices at A minus one, four and B, three, four. State two possible sets of coordinates for the other two vertices. B is, write the translation vector needed to move the upper square to, the, to cover the lower square. You get the concept, right? You can pause the video, answer, and then look into my suggestions. Now here we have the coordinate plane in which point A is at minus one, four. So minus one, four means one, two, three, four down. So we get point A. Point B is at three, four. Means move three units to the right and, uh, sorry, minus one, four, we have to go up. So minus one, four, one, two, three, four. That is the point A for us, correct? Okay. Now B is three, four. So you move three units to the right, one, two, three, and four up. So you come at the level with A, right? Both Y values are four. You get the idea? So that is how you get two points. Now we have to form a square. How do you get a square? Now between A and B, one, two, three, four, there are four units away. To make a square, we have to have something which is all four sides same. So that means from A, you could go up four units, one, two, three, four. So that could be one side, then again, one, two, three, four, the other side and the third side. So you get a square. Do you see that? So that is how you can make the first square. 
how do you make the second square well you can also move down so if I go down four units from both A and B and draw a line parallel I get the other square so I get the second square do you see that part so you could write other points as C and D so A B C D or you could do A B C dash D dash right so these are two different squares which can be formed with given points A and B correct now let us state two possible sets of coordinates for the other two vertices so the coordinates are it could be C which is now at 3 and 8 right so 4 plus 4 3 and 8 and it could be D which is at minus 1 and 8 so that is one set the other set will be the one which we have shown with D dash and C dash so that is one set and the other is with C dash which is at minus 3 so the X value I mean 3 and minus 1 so minus I mean minus 3 I'm sorry plus 3 and 0 and D dash as minus 1 and 0 so the X values will remain same do you see that part the Y values you could add 4 or subtract 4 to get your square so the strategy is keep X values same add plus or minus 4 to y values why did we do so because we have a horizontal line we did so because we have a horizontal line if the line would have been vertical in that case we'll do kind of reverse do you see that so think about it okay so that is how you get your two squares now part B is write the translation vector needed to move the upper square to cover the lower square so what you have to do if you start with the upper square you have to move four units down right you don't have to go left or right so the translation vector should be what since you are not moving in x direction you have to write within square brackets that is how our translation vector should be written x value no change the y value come down by 4 so minus 4 does it make sense to you so that becomes the translation vector to cover the second square perfect so in this video what we learned is how to describe the translation with the help of the square bracket coordinates so they tell you the change in x and y value so if i write within the square value brackets 0 minus 4 it means do not move along the horizontal but come down five units and if you do that the top square will overlap the bottom square perfect so that is how we do translations i hope all the concepts are absolutely clear Feel free to write your comments and share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.